Welcome back to Rise Up with Mackenzie. I'm so excited to do this podcast, which is going to be off of the first chapter of Jesus the Christ by James E. Talmadge. I'm going to be sharing my insights with you. And um, before we get right into it, I want to start with saying I have loved receiving all your comments, all your amazing insights and excitement for this journey that we're going to be doing um, as we walk with Christ together. I'm so glad that you can um, are able to write me and to tell me how excited you are. Um, there's so many people that are on this journey, so many amazing people, and I'm so glad that you are all diving in in this journey with me. I wanted to read some of the comments from a few of you guys. I have so many comments. I would love to read them all, but right now, right here, I want to read only a few because if I read them all, it would take up the entire podcast. Um, It's making me excited (laughs) through your excitement. First off, Tony said, I love that you are doing this weekly podcast. The other week, I felt impressed to start reading Jesus the Christ. This is so exciting to get your insight and help me in my studies. I can't wait. Thank you. I love that, that um, you felt impressed and that now we're doing it together and going off of our insights. Um, Secondly, Janice said, When your mom mentioned you were doing this a few weeks ago, I was so excited to do this as well. So excited that I bought the book and the study guide that goes with it. Now I think I need the journal edition. Thanks for doing this. Thank you, Janice, for your comment. It was awesome, and I loved reading it and knowing that my introduction to this whole Walk with Christ unit was able to inspire you and encourage you to get the journal edition. You don't need the journal edition, but if you want it, go ahead. Um, Lastly, there's one more comment I wanted to read from Candice. It says, I'm so excited and I'm definitely going to get the book and follow along as best I can. You are just amazing. I'm so impressed that you're committing to all of this and blessing the lives of so, so, so many others, especially me. Thank you so much for your comment, Candice. I love these comments. I love all the comments I've been getting and um, all the subscriptions I'm getting so you guys can follow along. And even those who haven't subscribed yet, I would encourage you to do so because this is just going to be an amazing journey. Um, I love hearing from you. I want to hear from so many more of you. You can find my email on my blog, Rise Up with Mackenzie, in my contact page. Also, the subscription form is there. And I want to hear from you, all of you, especially you, you teens out there that are doing this along with me. You can email me or just put a comment down below in the comments and tell me how excited you are. I'll be reading through your comments. I want your excitement comments. Um, I want your questions or your insights because I really want to go off of instead of just me talking about what I felt I want to incorporate all what you have to say um, and everything and I hope that we can grow together as we learn from each other and I want to hear from you so please if you haven't yet contact me through either my contact page in my blog or contact me through my comments down below I see them and I look at them and I will try my best to reply Um, thank you so much guys for all of this it's going to be such an exciting journey Um, there has been a few things I wanted to talk about last time I did a little a little over cap that's a word of what we're going to be doing for this entire journey walk with Christ what you'll be needing Another thing I found, my grandpa actually sent me a vocab list because Jesus the Christ has tons of vocab. There's a vocab list. Um, I'll put the link down below so you can look at it. Um, You'll be using it to help you, I guess, understand it and to really bring um, the literature to life through the book. Um, So you can find a lot of resonance in the literature 
and as we're studying the amazing work of James E. Talmadge, it's a difficult book to read, but there's like 26 pages of vocab in alphabetical order. It says the paragraphs and such and such, but I've been using it. It's been so helpful and I encourage you to look at it and to follow along with the vocab. That's something I'm going to be using along that I didn't mention in my last video um, or podcast, whatever you want to call it. And then um, also I got my journal. This is my journal. So I have it here with me now. I put a little sticker on the bottom and uh, of Christ and I've been already marking through it. So if you haven't had a journal yet, get a journal. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my notes, but. I have my journal I'm going to be sharing with you through that. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my last video about what you'll need, please check it out and so you can follow along. Again, you don't need any of this to follow along. You can just listen if you want to and follow along through my words and through the insights that I get from others. So if you have any other resources also that you're using or study guides, I would love to hear so I can share them with on here with all of you. And so right now I want to get right into the introduction of Jesus the Christ. I loved this introduction of chapter one. It is chapter one, but it's the intro to this study. Um, James E. Talmadge talks about what we're going to be studying about. And um, really, it's just kind of a um, an overview of everything in Christ and how amazing his life is. So right now, I have my book open to the introduction page. On the page before it, I was thinking of how I want to mark my book. Um, I love marking my book. You don't have to mark your book. You can just use it with a pencil, but for me, I love having personal insights, um, colors, color coding, I guess that's what my dad calls it, but um, just, I love decorating it to make it how I want it to be and to inspire me through different color coding, I guess. <laughs> um, so my color coding, I made something on the side here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right there is my color coding. So first I have in yellow who he is. In, I guess it's like turquoise, I have what he did, where he went in green, and inspiring, anything that inspires me, any phrases that inspire me is underlined in red, and teachings are in purple, and vocab, of course, which I talked about earlier, is in a square of, of orange crayon. So you can do that if you want, but I really want you to make it yours. You don't have to do it, I do, um, but I love color coding. So I did that. I do that in all my journal editions, and it's been amazing. Um, my chapter one is all marked up, and it's awesome. So it's going to impact me through what I mark. I In my journal, I put what I liked and what inspired me, and I put my notes in here. So chapter one, like I mentioned earlier, is who Christ is, what we're going to be studying, and James E. Talmadge really does an overview of that. Um, so first, I have the favorite passages and phrases that I loved. I really loved marking down who he was, like my marking in yellow. Um, I got, he's Jesus of Naz Nazareth. That's his name in literature, and that's how he's known in literature. Um, he's the Christ. He's the chosen, divine, the son of the living God, eternal judge, anointed, savior of human race, Jehovah, king of kings, lord of lords. Um, I loved how they put so many words on Jesus Christ, took an overview of what people called him. Um, I loved the word, it was in the first chapter, where I underlined authentic. 
because his life was authentic. And I really loved how James E. Talmadge used that word. The sentence is, the principle of data as to his birth, life, and death are so well attested as to be reasonably indisputable. They are facts of record and are accepted as essentially authentic by the civilized word at large. So I underlined that in red because I love the word authentic. It describes Christ. As I said before, he's known as in literature as Jesus of Nazareth. As I'm looking at my journal edition here, I really want to incorporate scriptures. Um, I mean, the footnotes have scriptures. You guys should really look up the footnotes. I mean, this introduction, chapter one, doesn't have so much footnotes as to scriptures, but uh, more to chapters of the book. But I encourage you to look up footnotes. I'm going to be looking up footnotes, and I'll be reading them in my podcast. Um, But I put a scripture up here that I really loved as to the first chapter in the intro of Christ and who he is. Um, It's from 2 Nephi chapter 33, verse 6, which is an amazing chapter. I would encourage you to read it because it's Nephi talking about Christ before he passes away. And it says, I glory in my Jesus. And then I put a little heart next to it because um, it's amazing. I'm so excited to do this study. Um, So as to who he was, I have another, um, I have his names under marked in highlighted yellow um, savior redeemer the chosen i love the chosen because there's that show the chosen which we my family watches and um we've loved it you if you haven't watched it you should go check it out because it's awesome and it's i think the first film um like season film of jesus and his life and his story so I'll put a link down below to that as well, but um, he is unique. Christ is unique, and he's supreme among men by reason of the excellence of his personal character. I loved this part. is so cool. It says the simplicity, beauty, and genuine worth of his precepts and influence of his example and doctrines in the advancement of the race. I loved how it said simplicity, beauty, and genuine worth of his precepts. Um, the gospel, I feel like precepts is his gospel and, um, the way he lived was simple yet beautiful and there was so much worth to it. And I feel like the gospel has so much worth to us that, um, it has so much beauty and it can help us be so much simpler in a way. Um, and I loved that. It also said excellence of his character, and um, I wrote that in my journal, and I thought, I wonder what it's like to have an excellence of character, to be so um, supreme, as it says. Um, I really loved that. And underneath it, in the third paragraph, I'm on the third paragraph, if you don't know, it says, the divinity of Christ's origin and the eternal reality of his status as Lord and God. Again, divine. God is divine and Jesus is divine. Um, it's it's awesome to understand like these words are so cool. Divine, beauty, authentic. I love gathering the words about him because it really brings to life his character and who he was and um, his personal character as well. It says um, in, the fifth ch- in the fifth paragraph, It says, as an individual, he was personally known to but few, and his fame as a world character became generally general only after his death. As an individual, he was personally known to but few. I love that so much. I wrote in the side here with a little sticky note, know Christ personally. Be the one that knows Christ personally today. And... I hope that we can grow to know Christ personally in our day. Um, Be the few that actually know him, that know who he is. And I feel as we'll read this, we'll feel who Christ is. We'll find his character, who he came to be, what he did, and where he went, as in 
as my markings have. I have so much yellow here, which is all of who he is, and it's so awesome. Um, another what that I found is um, his earthly life covered a period of 33 years were spent by him as an acknowledged teacher, openly engaged in the activities of public ministry. He was openly engaged. I feel like we can take these words and we can use them to help ourselves grow to become like Christ. We're not learning about Christ, but we're really deepening into who we are and who we can become as we learn of him. Um, and on the third page, I'm not sure if this is like different. If you guys have like an older version, but I'm just going by what my book is like. So I guess you can find the sentences and or just follow along through what I say. But um, the third page at the bottom, it says he was chosen and ordained to be savior of the unborn race of mortals, the redeemer of a world then in his formative stages of development. And then this part is so cool because Talmadge talks about how we are to study him. We are to study him as the creator of the world, as the word of power through whom the purposes of the eternal father were realized in the preparation of the earth. Um, that's so cool. We are to study him as creator of the world and as word of power. His word was powerful, yet as in the page before, he was so simple. His precepts were so simple and beautiful, but there's so much power and greatness and excellence in it. Um, the contrast of words as I've talked about so many times. Um, Jesus Christ was and is Jehovah. That is so cool. He's living yesterday, today, and forever, and he still lives. He's, there's so many cool insights here. Um, I have, like, I talked about the sticky notes a lot in my last video, well, this, I've been using also these, like, cute patterned washi tapes. So, on the things I really like, I use washi tapes as well. So, you can use sticky notes, washi tapes. Um, but I think I want to show you what it looks like. Um, what my thing looks like. So, that's kind of my first page of my book. You can see my sticky note here, my washi tape underneath. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, I have, I circled, oh my gosh, this is heavy, but these are my little markings. You see, I have so much yellow for who he is, that turquoise for what he did. I'm just covering his life, who he is, and really, as I do this in my journal, I write, like, what makes me what can I become like him I loved here I highlighted this um what came and what will come and I thought it was so cool I want to read this paragraph um, on page four it says um his wondrous yet natural birth his Im immaculate life in the flesh and his involuntary death is consecrated sacrifice for the sins of mankind shall claim our reverent attention as shall also his redeeming service in the world of disembodied spirits, his literal re resurrection from bodily death to immortality, his several appearings to men, and his continued ministry as the resurrected Lord on both continents, the reestablishment of his church through his personal presence, and that of the Eternal Father in the latter days, and his coming to his temple in the current dispensation. All these developments in the ministration of Christ are already of the past. And then I loved how Talmadge goes right into the future. Our, propo our proposed course of investigation will lead yet onward. And then it talks about how he'll establish his kingdom. Um, and then it says, And the Lord's return in power and glory to inaugurate the dominion of the kingdom of heaven on earth and to usher in the predicted millennium of peace and righteousness. This is yet to come. And I love how he talked about what and what happened, what came and what will come um, through Christ. And we shall follow him through post millennial conflict between the powers of heaven and forces of hell 
to the completion of his victory over Satan, sin, and death, when he shall present the glorified earth and its sanctified hosts, spotless and celestialized unto the Father. That covers Jesus Christ and what he did especially. Um, that's all in turquoise. And um, I, I really love that. It says on page five, the last paragraph, the reality of his death and physical resurrection as a result of which the power of death shall be eventually overcome. The literalness of the atonement wrought by him, including the absolute requirement of individual compliance with the laws and ordinances of his gospel uh, by which salvation may be attained. And it talks about um, his presence and his great glory as Lord and King. This is just an overview of Christ, who he is, what he did, and it's talking about what we're going to be studying. Um, I put his return in the end because that's awesome, and I look forward to that. Um, Jesus Christ, as it says, was and is Jehovah. It's amazing to study him. And those are the insights I've had. I want to share what was in my journal. That's kind of what in my book. Um, in my journal, I wrote little passages and phrases that I liked. I can reread them. Um, simplicity, beauty, and general worth of his precepts, as we talked about earlier. Unity in his mission. Influence of example. Acknowledged teacher openly engaged in the activity of public ministry. Died for sins of mankind. Was and is Jehovah. Fame after death personally known to but few, reestablished his church. I starred personally known to but few. That was the big impact of this chapter to me. Um, I wrote in my impressions down below, I want to personally know Christ, to be the elect few of my time. Um, I also said, when I truly know him, he'll truly know me. He loves me already, and he does love us already. We just have to reach up to him and walk with him and get to know him. And we'll love him even more and grow our relationship and friendship with our brother, Jesus Christ. Um, I love this scripture. I forgot to search it up, but um, it's in Doctrine and Covenants, and I think it's in the Bible as well. It says, learn of me, listen to my words, walk in the meekness of my spirit, and you shall have peace in me. That came to my mind because I'm learning of Christ. I'm listening to his words and I'm walking right now as I study this. And I hope that you can find Christ personally in your life, that you will reach for him, um, to learn of him, to listen to his words and to walk in the meekness and simplicity and beauty of his spirit. As we learn of Christ, we'll find the simplicity and we'll find the beauty. And um, I really liked the quote, I've been thinking about it a lot by Neil, a An Neil L. Anderson um, in the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. And he says, um, while the world speaks less of Christ, let us speak more of him. Let us speak more of him and find more of him and listen to more of him and to walk um, in him. Excuse me. But I love that because it really helps me and encourages me to talk of Christ and as I'm especially reading about him and gaining a personal relationship, I want to help that with others. So that's why I'm here sharing this with you today. Personally know Christ. And that's my big message today is to encourage you to read this first chapter and find ways you can personally come into Christ. You can do the highlights I did, the little marking things. Um, I want to be like Christ and to be like him. I want to develop an excellent character. Um, I'm taking what he has and I'm putting it into what I can have and what I can become, what he is and what I can become. Um, I want to develop an excellent character like I wrote in here. Keep my tasks and actions simple yet beautiful. Be fervent and passionate in my cause and bring unity in my mission. Christ brought so much unity um, he brought people together to realize that um, God is there, that Christ did come. And I loved how his coming was simple. Um, we know that uh, many thought that his coming would be this massive, glorious, um, like 
he'd come in such power and glory with the heavens opening, but he came at such a natural, wonderful birth. And I think that is so special. And there's such a beauty of his life. Um, Talmadge really spoke about that, the divineness and the beauty of his life that we're going to be studying. The introduction, um, I keep saying introduction, but really it is chapter one. Um, it's It has so much in it, even though it was um, a little shorter, but I felt that I got so much out of it. And I personally, it helped me realize that I personally want to know Christ, be the few that know Christ, that want to um, follow him in my life and to um, become like Christ as I'm walking with him. And we're walking with him together. I would love in my upcoming podcasts to hear from you, to share your insights so we can really discuss them. Um, And I just want to share that with you and bring that out there. It's just coming to life, even though I'm just starting. And I'm so glad that so many of you are excited for this, that are um, eager to begin this journey and to walk with Christ with me. And um, I hope you can keep tuning in. We covered our first chapter today, and that's awesome. So I hope I fulfilled your spirits. Um, (laughs) I'm still starting off, so bear with me. But we'll get this. Thank you so much for tuning in. And comment down below. Share your insights. Subscribe to my channel and my blog. And I'm so grateful we did this today. Um, Thanks for tuning in. (laughs) Bye.